Hey everyone and welcome back. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I am back today with another tutorial for the Backlit Gem Duo bracelet. You can see a bunch of different examples here down below. You can tell I had some fun putting different colors together. And one of the main things you might notice are those symbol metallic endings for these Gem Duo beads. They're specifically made for this particular bead shape and you can find everything you need at EurekaCrystalBeads.com. I'll leave the links to everything right down below the video. They've got tons of gem duo colors and these particular findings in the silver and gold and rose gold varieties depending on what you're looking for. I'll also leave the specific quantities of beads and things that you'll need for this project and the bracelet today we'll be making is going to come out to be approximately seven inches in length. You can, of course, adjust that accordingly. And besides our regular gem duos and the backlit variety that you see has the silver back and kind of that reflective quality, that's what we'll be using to accent the center of these diamonds. We'll also be using some size 11 round seed beads to frame out the gem duos. And we'll be using two beading needles today, one on either side of a length of beading thread. You'll probably be able to get away with about seven feet to make one bracelet. And I'll be using the six pound test fire line today with size 11 beading needles. Besides that, you'll just need your scissors, jewelry pliers, clasp of choice, and some jump rings. Once you have all your materials ready to go, you can go ahead and put on a needle onto either side of a comfortable length of beading thread, or you can go ahead and just use that full seven foot length that should get you to the end of the bracelet. And then we can jump into this tutorial. All right, so you can go ahead and pull out one of your symbol bead endings. We're gonna start with one of those and we'll be using both of the gem duos and the seed beads to first work up the framework of this bracelet and then we'll be coming back around to accent the sides with more seed beads. So if you're not familiar with gem duos, just make sure that as you are adding these on, you are taking into consideration the top and the bottom side. They have a flat bottom and you can see the top is just a little bit different. And of course you wanna make sure that that top is showing and facing up in the same direction all the way throughout the bracelet. To get started, I find that I like to take two of my gem duos and just place them right inside of that symbol ending so that I can take one of my needles and just slide right up through all of those all at once. So I'm going through the left-hand holes of those gem duos and just getting that symbol finding in place so it becomes attached to our beadwork. And then we can pull this down and we'll pull that to the center of our beading thread. So holding both needles, I'm just going to go ahead and pull this down to about the center. And then I just took a moment to get my needles and threads situated so they're not crossing over. And I have one on one side and one on the other. What we're gonna do next, and I'll just call this my right hand side, is we will begin by picking up three seed beads. And then we're going to pick up a gem duo. And if you have it facing up, we're gonna go through the left hand side just like that and then we're going to sew through the first gem duo. Go ahead and hold that together while you pull. And this is gonna to start to tighten up as you go. And now we're in position to put one of our backlit gem duos right in this spot here. So we can go ahead and pick one of those up, again, going through the left-hand side, and then sew through the next gem duo that's already in place. I'm just gonna hold this all down with my finger while I pull. And just take a moment to get all of those facing the right way. We have one more we're gonna add in this row and we're gonna also pick that up on the left-hand side and that is a regular gem duo. So we can go ahead and string that one down. And there is our next row of beads in place. Now we're gonna pick up our other needle and we want to pick up three of our seed beads to match the other side. And then what we're gonna do is sew down through all five of those gem duos that are in that next row. All of those, make sure you catch every bead and pull. And then I like to just pull on both of those threads. That's nice and tight. 
and your threads have switched places. Next, let's work with this right hand side again. And what we'll do is pick up four of our seed beads. Then we'll sew up through that same gem duo, but just going through the open hole this time. Then we're going to pick up another one of our gem duos, the regular one. It's going to be sitting right there. So basically, we're going to go up through the left hand side of that one and then head up through the open hole of that backlit gem duo that's already in place. Pull that together. And we're gonna leave that here for right now and pick up our other needle. To mirror our other side, we'll pick up four of our seed beads and sew down through that top gem duo through the open hole. And then we're going to pick up another gem duo. This one's gonna be sitting right here. So we're gonna go down the left hand hole of that one. And we're gonna go through the backlit gem duo. And we're gonna sew through the next regular gem duo. So you can see this thread is coming out of this one, and our other thread is still just coming out of the backlit gem duo. So pick up that other thread and then sew through just one more gem duo up through that left hand side. Pull both of these threads and this is what you should have. And as you can see, both of your threads are coming out of a regular gem duo, not this top one, but the one right before it that is surrounding the backlit. So get your thread situated again, and I'm picking up this one on the right hand side, and I'm just going to go straight through that gem duo through the open hole. And you're going to see a little thread right there, but we're going to cover that up with seed beads toward the end of the bracelet. So don't worry about that at all. At this time, we want to put in one of our regular gem duos that's going to sit right there. So we need to go up through the left hand hole and then up through the next gem duo. Now take your other needle and sew straight down those three gem duos going through that next row. Hold and pull, and again, pull both of those threads. For our next step, I'm going to go ahead and get my next gem duo ready that's going to sit right there. We also need to pick up four of our seed beads and we're gonna go up through the new gem duo and up through the open hole of that last one. There we go. And at this time we can also pick up another gem duo going up through the left hand side. That's gonna sit right there. And then with your other needle, pick up four seed beads and sew down through those three gem duos. And pull both threads. And now next with your right hand needle, we're gonna go directly up through the open hole of the gem duo. And we're going to pick up our next backlit gem duo that's going to sit right there. So we need to go up through the left hand hole and we can proceed up through the open hole of the very next gem duo as well. Pull that one. And then with your other beading thread, you can just go straight down those next three gem duos in that next row. Pull both threads. At this time, we're going to pick up a gem duo on both sides. This one's going to sit right here. So we're going to go down this time through the left hand hole. That one's going to sit like that. And repeat that on the other side, this time going up through the left hand hole.
and now you have this right here. And this is where we are going to begin repeating our steps over and over and over again. We're gonna do this six more times until the end of our bracelet. And then we're going to finish it up on the end so that we can attach our other symbol finding. So let's repeat this process, starting from this point again, where we're gonna pick up four seed beads. So up through that gem duo. Pick up a gem duo going up through the left. And sewing up through that backlit gem duo. Pull that all together. And then on the other side, pick up four of your seed beads. So down through the gem duo going through that open hole. Pick up another gem duo that's gonna sit right there. And sew through that one, as well as the next two gem duos. And then pick up your other thread, it's still coming out of the backlit, and you wanna go up through one more bead. And pull both threads. Now, you're going to, we'll pick up the other thread. So up through the gem duo. This time we want a regular one that's gonna sit on the end there. So we're gonna go up through the left hand hole and up through the right hand hole of that next gem duo. Then with our other needle, and we're coming out right there, we're gonna go down through the next three gem duos in that next row. And once again, pull both threads so that they stay nice and tight. Now we can get our next gem duo in place on this side and then pick up four seed beads and then sew up through the new gem duo on the left and up through the existing gem duo through that open hole. And at that point, we can also pick up another gem duo going up through the left hand hole that'll sit right there. And then with our other needle, we'll pick up our four seed beads and then sew down through the next three gem duos. Pull both threads. Now with my right hand needle, I'm gonna go up through that gem duo right there. I'm gonna pick up the next backlit and sew up through the next gem duo. And then with my other needle, I'm gonna sew down through the next three gem duos and pull. Now I'll get my next gem duo ready right here. We're gonna be sewing down through that left hand hole to put that one in place. And then on our other needle, we'll sew up through the left hand side of a new one to get one on the other side. There we go. So this is the point where you're gonna repeat the process over again so you can back up the video if you need to. You can start from the point where we're gonna be adding four seed beads around each of these points. And continue doing that five more times now at this point. We'll meet back at the section that looks like this on the end, and then we'll finish that up and add in our other symbol ending and continue on with the next steps. And welcome back. This is what you should have so far, and we're just gonna finish up a few things on this end. So just like we normally would, we're gonna pick up four of our seed beads on this side, go up through the gem duo, pick up a new gem duo, going up through the left, and then going up through the backlit that's already in place. And then with our other needle, we're gonna pick up four seed beads, go down through, the next hole of that gem duo. 
then pick up a new gem duo going down through the left, then going down through the backlit, and the next gem duo. And pull that, and we still need to go through one more bead with our other needle that's coming out of the backlit. We'll continue on through that next gem duo. All right, now the thing that'll be different here, because we're about to attach our other end, we're actually this time gonna continue on sewing up through that next gem duo. We're gonna do that on both sides. So with your other needle, continue to sew up through that right hand hole. And then go ahead and pull these again to tighten that up. And then take your other ending and just slide that in place like that so it fits together with the gem duos. We'll pick up three seed beads, and then we'll go up through all of those holes, trying to catch them all at once, weaving that ending together with our beads. So we have one side on, and then we're going to take our other needle, and then pick up three seed beads, and sew down through all of those on the end, the three sections of that ending, as well as the two beads, pulling that all together, and go ahead and pull both of those threads. And now you can see you have something like this, and we're going to start working in the other direction toward the other side of our beadwork. And at this point, we're just gonna need our seed beads. All right, so I have turned my work vertically like this. It's a little bit easier for me to work like this. I'm gonna take the needle that's on my right-hand side and I'm gonna sew down through the first five seed beads. Next, I'm gonna pick up one seed bead and sew through the next two. We're giving ourselves a pointed edge right up there. And then next we'll pick up three seed beads and sew up through the next two. Pick up one seed bead and then sew through the next two, just like that. You're gonna continue doing that all the way down and on both sides. I like to kind of do both sides together so that way the tension stays the same all the way down the bracelet. So let's go ahead and repeat this too. It'll just be a good refresher for what you need to do. So with the other needle, go down through the first five seed beads, then pick up one, and then sew through the next two. Then pick up three seed beads, sew up through the next two, pick up one, sew through the next two, and then you'll just keep repeating. So once again, when we get to that section, you'll pick up three, sew up the next two, and so forth. Let's do one more little section together. So once again, pick up three seed beads, go up the next two, pick up one, sew through the next two. Pick up three seed beads, sew through the next two, pick up one seed bead, and sew through the next two. So keep doing that until you get to the other end of your bracelet, and then we will meet back, finish this up, and admire our work. All right, so I've already completed one side there, and I'm just going to demonstrate finishing this other side. So I'm picking up that last seed bead for that peak, and then I'm gonna go through all of the rest of those seed beads, those five. And then this is where you can start making several half hitch knots. So I'm just weaving my remaining thread back in a little bit. And 
And I'll make another half hitch knot there. Continue sewing through some beads. I'll make a third one here next to that seed bead. And I'll skip the peak and just kind of sew through a few more over here. And you can continue going as long as you want and doing that. Feel very good about that security of the thread. So I'm going to snip off the remainder. And now your beadwork is done, and all you have to do is attach your jump rings and your clasp. And here is the completed bracelet. You can see I just added a simple toggle clasp to the end of that. But we are all finished, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really like how this one shows off the backlit gem duos that are so pretty. There's a lot of different varieties of them at Eureka Crystal Beads, as well as other main colors you could use. And of course, those symbol findings that are made just for these two whole beads. Even if you don't have those findings or don't want to use the back lit gem duos, you can still make this pattern though. You can have fun with the different combinations of colors and put this together in your own way. I want to thank you all so much for being here for this tutorial. It's always great to have you. Feel free to give the video a big thumbs up and share it with your other bead loving friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this design, if you've tried it or want to try it or anything else you'd like to say. Remember, you can find the full list of materials and links and the quantities right down below the video. And for more, you can also check out the blog post to go along with this tutorial where I will share the different colors I used in these various color combinations. And you can also find the instant download printable pattern if you like to have a written copy to refer to. Well, that's all I have for now. I will be back again real soon. Until next time, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. And as always, happy beading.